Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to continue our fabric journey and in this journey we are going to talk about how you can create functions that you are reusing against your connections. So let's spin up our Python interpreter, import from the fabric module the connection class and create the CentOS A connection. So by the way, we are using the same machine. I have spin up my CentOS SA machine and we should be good to go. So as always, the host is going to be a connection string for the CentOS SA machine and the connect quarks are going to be our password, which is Ansible. All right, let me just show you. So basically this is what I wrote, which you cannot see from the webcam. <laughs> so now let's create a process list. And we would like to get, a, let's say a simple function that takes a connection. And we would like to uh, uh, return the C that run and the output of the PSAUX command. And the hide is equals to true. And we would like to get the std out that strip. And basically that's it. So process list C and OSA. And it should go out, grab our processes, everything that is running, and retrieve this list for us. Voila! Now what can we do to make this kind of look better, so to speak? What we can do is to import from the pprint module the pprint function. And we could pretty print this whole stuff. This is not necessarily going to work, but in most of the cases, as you can see, we have a better output in this case. And what you could do is just simply say that you want to filter these processes. So let's say we modify our function and we pass a process argument. And what we would like to do is to modify our command that we execute and we just simply grab with case insensitivity against the specified process. Now we need to change our call and say that the process that we are looking for is what should we look for? Let's look for Python. Now we should get a shorter list and as you can see we have two processes which match this one. The first one is the ps command and that's the second one. And I think I forgot to... yeah, we need to make this an f string. Great. Now it should work. So if we go back and check, we can see that we have one Python process, second Python process, and another process, which is basically what we have just called, but it matches the filter. So technically this is how you can simply uh, create functions that you can use. So for example, you may want to have a script that you can use as troubleshooting. So for example, you would like to try to troubleshoot performance issues, analyze logs and so on. You could create a library which consists of different function calls. You could chain them, you could pass the connection and just simply execute that. See you in the next one.